गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट एटोमिक स्ट्रक्चर सब एटोमिक पार्टिकल्स ऑफ एन आइटम एंड दे कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद एटोमिक मॉडल वेरियस एटोमिक मॉडल्स आर प्रपोज बाई डिफरेंट साइंटिस्ट हेयर वी विल स्टडी ओनली अबाउट टू रदर फोर्स एटोमिक मॉडल एंड बोर्स एटोमिक मॉडल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद रदर फोर्ट एटोमिक मॉडल रदर फोर्ट कंपेयर्ड एटम विद द सोलर सिस्टम जस्ट एज इन द सोलर सिस्टम सन इज एट द सेंटर एंड द प्लानट रिवॉल्व अराउंड इट इन एन एटम द न्यूक्लियस इज एट द सेंटर एंड एलेक्ट्रॉन्स रिवॉल्व अराउंड इट दिस इज गिवन बाय रदर फोर्ड एटोमिक मॉडल बट रदर फोर्ड फेल टू एक्सप्लेन स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ एन एटम ओके As according to laws of electrodynamics, if an electrically charged particle is in motion, okay, any charged particle is in motion, it radiates energy. So, if an electron moves around the nucleus, it must radiate energy and gradually move towards the nucleus, following a spiral path till it collide and ultimately collapse in it. but we already know that atom is quite stable so rutherford failed to explain this stability of an atom then bohr's explain the causes of the stability of the atom okay he modified rutherford's atomic model and gave his own atomic model with some modification in rutherford's model okay what he said that electrons revolves around the nucleus in fixed orbit and each orbit is associated with a certain amount of energy hence named as energy level okay and these levels are also designated as k l m n etc okay and as long as the electrons revolve in fixed orbit it neither loses nor absorb energy okay what is the meaning when electrons are revolving in a fixed position fixed energy level they will neither lose or absorb energy and this only explain the stability of an atom okay so short you have to study one or two models then we will come to the atom okay first how to define atom then subatomic particle of an atom atom is the smallest particle of an element which can take part in a chemical reaction okay and it is considered the basic unit of matter so atom consist of two regions nuclear region and extra nuclear region nucleus contain proton and neutron in extra nuclear region what is present the electrons revolve around the nucleus along imaginary path known as shells or orbit okay so here we will study about three subatomic particles which are of great importance in understanding of the structure and behavior of an atoms they are electron proton and neutron okay so we will study characteristic of electron proton and neutron mass and charge of electron proton and neutron so first start with electron electron carry one unit negative charge that is 1.6 into 10 to power minus 19 coulomb whereas proton carry one unit positive charge that is 1.6 into 10 to power minus 19 coulomb okay whereas neutrons are neutral they do not carry any charge okay so charge is clear electrons are negatively charged protons are positively charged and nucleon neutrons are neutral one thing more neutron and protons are present in nucleus and collectively they are known as nucleons okay subatomic particle which are present in the nucleus they are known as nucleons so proton and neutrons they are known as nucleons 
then mass mass also we will see atomic mass unit and in gram also absolute mass also and relative atomic mass also we'll see here so first you should know what is atomic mass unit okay 1 amu is defined as mass a quantity of mass equal to 1 twelfth mass of an atom of carbon 12 okay which is taken as a standard quantity is it clear what is 1 amu this is mass of 1 twelfth mass of 1 atom of carbon 12 okay so here what is the mass of electron electrons are 1000 one electron is 1840 time lighter than one atomic mass unit so that is why its mass is considered as negligible you will see a zero is written as a superscript where we represent symbol of electron you will see always zero is written at the top why because negligible mass they have how many time lighter than one atomic mass unit 1840 time lighter than mass of one atom of hydrogen or one twelfth mass of one atom of carbon 12 what is the absolute mass that difficult but you try to learn absolute mass of electron is 9.1 into 10 to power minus 28 gram okay then proton mass of proton is one atomic mass unit and absolute mass 1.67 into 10 to power minus 24 gram and neutrons mass is nearly equal to proton this is also taken as 1 amu and absolute mass is 1.67 into 10 to power minus 24 okay so this is clear these are characteristic of subatomic particle of an atom and one thing more you should know that atom is electrically neutral always why because number of electron is equal to number of proton it means negatively charge total negative charge is equal to total positive charge that is why atom is always neutral okay then certain definition what is atomic mass what is atomic number and atomic mass or mass number that definition also you should atomic number is the number of proton present in the nucleus of an atom okay or you can say this is the total positive charge present in the nucleus of an atom is known as atomic number and atom of each element has its own characteristic atomic number no two element can have same atomic number so this is most fundamental quantity of an atom atomic number okay and always define atomic number in term of proton not in term of electron though atomic number is also equal to number of electron okay but how to define standard definition of atomic number atomic number is the number of proton present in the nucleus of an atom okay and which is also equal to number of electron then what is mass number mass number is the sum of proton and neutron present in the nucleus of an atom okay total number of proton and neutron present in the nucleus of an atom are known as mass number total mass of an atom lies in the nucleus as we have already studied electrons have negligible mass so total mass of an atom lies in the nucleus because nucleus only contain neutron and proton okay how we represent atomic number by using alphabet z and mass number is by uh, alphabet a okay so z is equal to p number of proton and which is also equal to number of electron a is equal to n plus p so we can easily calculate neutron suppose we know a and z we can calculate n n will be equal to a minus z one thing more here just remember a or mass number is represented as superscript an atomic number as subscript okay like x a is written at the top and z is at the bottom so take example of sodium okay sodium 23 11 23 is written as superscript so what is the mass number of sodium can you tell 23 and what is the atomic number of sodium it is 11 then can you calculate number of neutron number of neutron will be 23 minus 11 is equal to 12 okay so that is how we can find out 
number of neutron okay one more definition and then we will finish this one what is isotope okay what are isotopes isotopes are atoms of same element with the same atomic number but different mass number one thing you should remember isotopes are atoms of same element with same because you will not remember this point all will remember only isotopes are having same atomic number but different mass number they are atoms of same element with the same atomic number but different mass number okay like example here three isotopes of hydrogen one case me what is the mass of atomic mass number or atomic mass is 1 second atomic mass is 2 and third tritium atomic mass is 3 okay so how they differ in which sub atomic particles they differ all three are having different number of neutrons they have same number of proton because their atomic number is same they are atom of same element they will have same atomic number so their number of proton is same it means number of electron also will same so how they differ they differ in number of neutrons protium does not contain any neutron okay this question is normally asked one element not having any neutron hydrogen you will write there one isotope of hydrogen that is protium okay others are having neutron okay neutrium 1 tritium 2 neutrons so these are isotopes an isotope will have same chemical properties as they have same atomic number okay so that's it